सरहद कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस कत्रज पुणे 46 एक्रेडिटेड बाय नैक विद बी प्लस हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर अंजलि एंड के फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री सरहद कॉलेज पुणे एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर द टर्म परमाणु वाज फर्स्ट यूज्ड बाय महर्षि कनाद एन इंडियन सेंट एंड फिलोसोफर to describe the ultimate particle of matter several western philosophers like plato aristotle democritus lucretius etc also believed that matter is composed of extremely small and indivisible particles called atoms atom is a greek word which means indivisible the origin of idea that matter is composed of small indivisible particles called atomio meaning indivisible dates back to the time of democritus a greek philosopher in 1808 dalton published a new system of chemical philosophy in which he proposed the following postulates all matter is composed of atoms atoms cannot be subdivided created or destroyed in ordinary chemical reactions however these changes can occur in nuclear reaction atoms of an element have a characteristic average mass which is unique to that element atoms of any one element differ in properties from atoms of another at the end of 19th century several scientists including crookes julius plucker j j thomson tried to pass electricity through gases they found that electricity can be passed through gases only when a high voltage is applied at very low pressure the experiments involving the passage of electricity through gases at low pressure were called discharge tube experiments these experiments demonstrated the emission of certain invisible rays from cathode these rays produced fluorescence on glass and affected the photographic plate these rays were named as cathode rays j j thomson studied the properties of these rays which led to the discovery of the electron a discharge tube consists of perfectly leak proof glass with metal electrodes fused in it as shown in this figure the tube is evacuated by connecting it to a vacuum pump the tube is filled with gas under study the pressure of the gas in the tube is reduced to about 10 to minus 2 to 10 to minus 3 mm with the help of vacuum pump and a very high voltage is applied to the electrodes electric discharge occurs between two electrodes and the gas in the tube begins to glow if high vacuum is created within the tube the glow is replaced by faint luminous rays which produce fluorescence on the glass at the end far from the cathode the rays starting from the cathode and go away from it at right angles with straight lines are called cathode rays conclusions from the study of electrons cathode rays have identical properties regardless of the element used to produce them all elements must contain identically charged electrons atoms are neutral so there must be a positive particle in the atom to balance the negative charge of the electrons electrons have so little mass that atoms must contain other particles that account for most of the mass thomson's atomic model after the discovery of electrons and protons and discovery of natural spontaneous radioactivity in 
Sir J. J. Thomson proposed the first model of an atom in 1898. This model is known as J. J. Thomson's model or plum pudding model. He proposed that an atom has a spherical shape of radius approximately 10 raised to minus 10 meter in which the positive charge is uniformly distributed. The electrons are embedded into it uniformly so as to give the most stable electrostatic arrangement. In this model, the atom is visualized as a pudding or cake of positive charge with resins embedded into it. This model is also called resin pudding model or watermelon model. The mass of atom is assumed to be uniformly distributed over the atom. This model was able to explain the overall neutrality of the atom but failed to explain origin of atomic spectrum and alpha particle scattering experiment. Rutherford's gold foil experiment. Rutherford, in an attempt of verify various models of atom proposed by Dalton and Thomson carried out alpha particle scattering experiment in 1909. Radioactive source of alpha particle was placed in the cavity of lead block. Alpha particle was placed in the cavity of lead block. The alpha particles emitted from this source were passed through lead slit. This is the slit. And our alpha rays are passed through this slit. To give a fine beam of alpha particles. This beam of particle was bombarded on a thin golden foil of thickness 100 nanometer. The gold foil was surrounded by fluorescent screen of zinc sulfate. This is the fluorescent screen of zinc sulfate. Where alpha particle strikes the screen, a tiny flash of light was produced at that point. It was observed that alpha particles are helium nuclei. Particles were fired at a thin sheet of gold foil. Particle hits on the detecting screen are recorded. Rutherford's findings. Most of the particles passed right through. A few particles were deflected, very few were greatly deflected, like howitzer shells bouncing off of tissue paper. Conclusions The nuclei is small, the nucleus is dense, the nucleus is positively charged. Now we are going to discuss atomic particles. Atom has three types of particles that is electrons, protons and neutrons. Where electrons are negatively charged, protons are positively charged and neutrons are neutral. Electrons are massless. Proton and neutron has mass. Electrons were found in electron cloud. Proton are in nucleus and neutron are also in nucleus. Atomic number. Atomic number is denoted by Z. Atomic number of an element is the number of protons in the nucleus of each atom of that element. For example, carbon 
has six protons and its atomic number is six. Phosphorus has 15 protons and its atomic number is 15. Gold has 79 protons in its nucleus and its atomic number is 79. Mass number. Mass number is the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an isotope. Mass is equal to number of protons plus number of neutrons. We are going to see some examples. Oxygen has 8 protons and 10 neutrons. The number of protons are always equal to number of electrons. So there are 8 protons and 8 electrons. So mass number of oxygen is number of protons plus number of neutrons. So oxygen has mass of 18. If there are 33 protons and 42 neutrons, so if the number of protons is 33, then number of electrons is always 33. And then mass number of arsenic is 33 plus 32 is equal to 75. Now, here is mass number is 31 and there are 15 protons. So, number of electrons is also 15. And so, number of neutrons equal to 31 minus 15 is equal to 16. And this is the mass number of phosphorus. 31 is the mass number of phosphorus and it has 15 protons, 16 neutrons and 15 electrons. Isotopes. Isotopes are atoms of the same element having different masses due to varying numbers of neutrons. Hydrogen has one proton one electron and zero neutrons. It has plus charge. Hydrogen 2 which is isotope of hydrogen and it is also known as deuterium. It has one proton, one electron and one neutron. Hydrogen 3 that is tritium has one proton, one electron and two neutrons. Atomic masses. Atomic mass is the average of all the naturally occurring isotopes of that element. For example, carbon. Isotopes of Carbons are carbon 12, carbon 13 and carbon 14. Symbol of carbon 12 is like this, 12 carbon. And it has 6 protons and 6 neutrons. It is abundant in nature, that is 98.89%. Carbon 13. This is a symbol of carbon-13 and it has 6 protons and 7 neutrons. It is found in nature in 1.11%. Carbon-14 has the symbol 14C and it has 6 protons and 8 neutrons. And it is found in very less amount that is 0.01% in nature. This Atomic mass of carbon is equal to 12.011.